In 2006, it was difficult to turn on the radio in the United States without hearing Atkins' voice. Despite being best known for Meg hits like Smack That and Lonely, the Senegalese American crooner broke into the music scene in the era of pop chart toppers like Shakira, Justin Timberlake, and Kelly Clarkson, thanks to which he secured numerous chart topping hits such as Smack That and Lonely. But he does not want his legacy to be about that, as he told Business Insider during a recent phone interview. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. In the year 2020, Atkins music may no longer be blasting from the radios of teenage girls' cars, but the singer has been far from inactive since his release from prison. He's transitioned from making hip-hop and R&B hits to forging a new identity as a tech entrepreneur. His first venture was a solar energy company. After that, he created his own cryptocurrency. According to The Guardian, he made the purchase of a diamond mine in South Africa along the way. Acreage in Senegal is to be designated for Akin City development. Akin and the Senegal Tourism Minister, Alian Sarin, unveiled the project in Senegal in 2018. Akin says he was inspired by the movie Black Panther, and in addition to that, he refers to his new settlement, Akin City, as a real-life Wakanda, where cryptocurrency and blockchain technology are applied. Akin revealed plans for Akin City on January 15, 2020. Akin unveiled a visualization of his city project in September of 2020. A 2,000-acre plan development is planned on the Atlantic coast, which will result in a futuristic city. The geographic location of Senegal is approximately 62 miles south of Dakar. Macky Sall, the president of Senegal, is backing the Akin City project. Planned to have office, apartment, park, university, ocean resort, and a 5,000-bed hospital. The planned city includes condominiums, accommodations, amenities, features, function, services, structures, and settings. The highest building in Dakar is 250 meters high. Akin Tower would stand at nearly 985 feet, making it by far the highest building in Senegal. As for the city's physical appearance, Keraz envisions it as a hyperdrive version of a variety of world-famous cities, a hybrid of the Spanish coastline with the futuristic-looking skyline of Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and a dash of New York City's Madison Square Garden for good measure. A special tax zone has been established for Akin City by the Senegalese government. The city will have its own cryptocurrency, Akoin. Although Akin has not announced any major development projects in Africa yet, he has already founded a city in Senegal. Complaints have arisen on the continent over previous plans and grand promises, and questions have arisen around transparency. While scarce private investment is badly needed in the West African country, following the economic impact of the coronavirus outbreak, SAR said that Akin's launch occurs at the right time. Akin said in the future, the city promises to provide Senegalese people with new job opportunities and an alternative home for African Americans facing discrimination. Because of all the different ways in which they are treated back home, it is impossible to even fathom the injustice, so they endure it because there is no other option. Information about the project is scarce. Only a third of the estimated $6 billion required for the project has been raised. The investors will not be named as they have signed confidentiality agreements, but Akin announced that $3 billion of the funding has been secured. Before been asked questions about how his cryptocurrency will be viable in the planned city, 
The singer, however, avoided talking about it, instead calling on the geeks to handle the matter. A consulting and engineering firm based in the United States, KE International, claims that it has been commissioned to construct the city, which it claims will usher in a new design and architecture paradigm for Africa. In order to duplicate the concepts of smart cities, like the Mwail Medical and Technological City Project in Kenya, a plan is being considered to franchise the project to other countries in Africa. Business Insider reported the Kenyan entrepreneur behind the project had previously invested $4 billion. If this information is correct, this contribution will be noteworthy for a number of reasons. From a purely mathematical perspective, it seems as though Akin would almost certainly reach his $6 billion goal. The project has provided solar electricity access to more than 32 million people in 25 countries. Following a statement in 2015 that he had influenced African leaders, Akin's involvement in Africa became a hot topic. He predicted in 2018 that his Acoin currency, which requires smartphones to function, will be the uniform currency of Africa. Even so, questions have been raised around its accessibility in lower- and middle-income countries where data is costly. While describing the Acoin as pie in the sky, Michael Kamani, the chairman of the Blockchain Association of Kenya, argued that its implementation across Africa would be difficult to realize. The city will run on clean energy and feature an artificial intelligence data center, the latter of which is sponsored by the Singers Akin Lighting Africa, which funds solar energy projects in rural areas. As with all futuristic cities, the new city will have a futuristic visual appearance to match the cutting-edge technology. Bakri and Associates Development Consultants helped craft a surrealist-style metropolis with its intricate structures. That is to say, the renderings look as if they were used for the sets of a Ridley Scott film. A few people in Senegal believe the bigger question is whether Akin should even try to build a glitzy, environmentally sustainable smart city in Senegal. According to a report released in 2016 by the consulting firm Deloitte, Africa is an ideal place to develop smart cities because of its booming young population. In addition, the continent is home to a rising young population that is searching for employment in the city. 60% of Africa's population is under the age of 25 in 2018, and by the year 2034, Africa's working age population is expected to be over 1 billion people. At the moment, it appears that Akin City is not just a monument to his ego, but rather a symbol of the concept of a hip, urban metropolis. Akin's home country of Senegal will be the home base for the hub. When speaking to the Associated Press, the singer said the project is intended to spur economic growth and create lots of job opportunities for Senegalese people. Although the star power of Akin may have faded in the United States, it shines in Africa brighter than ever. He was named the most banking artist on the continent by Forbes Africa in 2017. Akin, 47, is greater than Michael Jackson in Africa, according to Karas. With his 2004 single, Locked Up, he burst into the U.S. music scene at the age of 30 years. Akin continued selling more than 35 million albums worldwide, working with stars like Lady Gaga, Michael Jackson, Eminem, Gwen Stefani, Snoop Dogg, and others. The amount of the personal fortune Akin acquired in those years is unclear, but he ranked ninth among the top 20 hip-hop earners of Forbes in the 2011 ranking and raised an estimated $13 million. What do you think about Akin's $6 billion futuristic city? Let's know your opinions in our comment section.